Hi everybody, my name is Gary and welcome to Outdoor POV. Today we're going to do like a virtual running tour I suppose or try and have a bit of chat and a bit of knowledge about the kind of area that we're running. But we're going from um, a place called Hart Station which is to the north of Hartlepool up to Horden which is uh, an old minor village on the east coast. I say Hart Station, there's no actual station here anymore. I think this station closed <clears throat> I think about 19. 53 or something like that um, anyway quite a few years ago it's on the Durham Heritage Coast Trail uh, so it is a trail and I will be wearing the Scott Kinabalu Ultra RC trail shoe you can get these at northernrunner.com www.northernrunner.com um, give the people up there a call if you need any advice with uh, shoe choice and kit choice they've got years and years of experience and they'll be more than happy to help so yeah We'll get going. I think it's about four mile in total this one on the trails. And like I say, a bit of chat uh, to break up my huffing and puffing along the way. Hopefully there's a little bit of knowledge and you find it interesting. If you do, yeah, please comment below. And also, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you think somebody else might like this video, then please share it. And um, if you'd like to see more videos from the outdoor POV, then please subscribe. Thanks. Cheers. First things we do is go over this little bridge. This line here, this railway line, it's actually not on the main kind of east course. Oh yeah, there's a sign for the Northern Saints trails. Check that out, that's really interesting. Hopefully film that one day. But yeah, this train line here kind of get you from uh, Hartlepool and get to London with the Grand Central train company I'll go northbound and uh, you can pick up the metro too that gives you access to kind of Newcastle that part of the city but the main line kind of connects the north with the south he goes to Durham so it's not this one it's quite nice actually there's a bunch of viaducts you might see one that's where the run finishes I've got some armor in the field so chilling out I was at the seaside. People there in the camper vans, dogs well behaved. That was my dog, it'd be going crazy. <coughs> like I said, they're pretty good trails, these. I might get a bit of mud in places. Hey there. 
been on yet. <laughs> What he said. <coughs> so we're coming to the criminal now. This is Dean and Crimden, it's quite nice. Sand dunes are quite nice too. And the beach itself is nice. Unfortunately, it does get a bit of litter on it. The local kids don't respect it. Yeah, Crimson Dean to the left, San Junes to the right. interested there's a colony of little turns over there on the actual beach itself and they fenced it off <coughs> for protection I think this is the ranger hut here <coughs> right. and if you come back so if you come here mid of August, you might see them. <coughs> Got a bit of a cold, so apologize for heavy breathing. This is the main car park for Crimson. Pop the postcode in the description. It's free, which is nice. It's nice to see it's well used. But I wouldn't leave my car here overnight. It's a bit secluded. And this is the end, the finish of the uh, East Coast, the Don't Get East Coast Half Marathon. If I see any way markers, I'll point them out. It's a great route. I've never run it, I've run the road quite a few times. I've never done the race. I spectated.
if you're wondering I'm filming this in October in the north of England Coming up to kind of the main caravan park in Grimden. Some of these are massive, really big, and probably quite expensive too. <coughs> I always wonder, you know, they're so close to this kind of cliff edge. If you buy one. I'd be pretty stressed out a few years time with the coastal erosion I think your caravan's going to be there in my face all the way so hopefully <laughs> I've got little wind jammers on the GoPro but they can only do so much People down there on the beach. It's quite popular with fishermen. the end of the caravan park soon well, it's quite rough down there here you the sea
see the, the new fences here. Must have been some erosion. <coughs> Relatively recently. big one big caravan <coughs> and that's right on the edge here and I can, if I look over to my right I can see the erosion it's quite a worry it just gets battered the coast so we're leaving Crimden now next uh, place up the coastline is a place called Blackhall or Blackhall rocks for us then Blackhall Back on the heritage trail, you can take a shortcut and not come down here. There should be some cattle, I think, in this field. Has been in the past. The trail's pretty good. Had a bit of rain. They're okay so far. Yeah, I can see the cows on the other side of this outlet. They look like they're <laughs> quite close to the path. Hopefully they're friendly. I think they put the cows there to kind of manage the the grass. <coughs> Not an interesting fact about the beach at Black Hall is they filmed uh, the famous 
Michael Kane film uh, Get Caught. I think that was 1970, 71. I wasn't born then. Not far off though. Now the cattle uh, they put here is either usually like a Highland cattle or the British Longhorn or even the uh, kind of belted Galloway. <laughs> I'm no, that's a internet fact. Unless it's blatantly obvious, I wouldn't know what's what. So yeah, comment below, let me know. You tell me what breed of cattle they are. Heritage Coast. Oh, there they are. Well, that by the red stripe round its belly. Red stripe, sorry, white stripe. <coughs> Could be the belted Galloway. Yeah, I'll be interested to know if I'm right or wrong. Please comment, that'd be great. Last time I came down here, I was in the kind of middle of summer and it hadn't been managed for whatever reason. And it's pretty overgrown. Oh well, there's more up there. Wonder if there's different breeds of cattle too. So I'm not too sure which um, actual beach it was. The film get caught at. Could be any of these. It's hard to believe now. Well, Blackall, the village to the left, and Horden, where we're going to end up, would have been really busy villages when the colliery was open. We would have employed thousands of people. And unfortunately, for whatever reason, that's uh, another YouTube video altogether. They've never really recovered. They're quite low income areas, unemployment. Probably even a kind of relatively young death rate compared to the rest of the country. <laughs> it's pretty sad. I love the north. Northeast, and it's always a shame. Breaks my heart when I see the state of some of the villages. Oh, it's strange. I'll just get past these people. I think I'm a weirdo chatting away to myself.
Thank you. Cheers. Thanks. Rex, out the way. <laughs> oh, my dog's called Rex as well. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, another Rex. So yeah, the, the mines would go right out under the sea. I'm not exactly sure of the, the distance, but a long way. And that would, that would really freak me out. And that was my dad's job. He was the train driver. And he would take the miners out to the coal face. It's hard to comprehend that there's tunnels under the sea. couple of choices you can't really get too lost as long as you keep the sea on your right you'll head, you will end up at Horden eventually also a little bit further up in uh, Seaham got a beach called Blast Beach and they filmed a scene from, well, might have been Alien 3. I think it was the prison planet. So they filmed the scene from there. And now they look, you know, they, they, they are, a lot of these areas are nature reserves, so they look quite nice. But back then, when the mines were still working, they were very black, full of, like, coal and stuff like that. <coughs> so pretty different to how they look now. Notice what's interesting up in Seam too, and in uh, an area called Hawthorne. You can collect sea glass. The Sunderland, a bit further up the coast, that, that was its kind of industry. Well, shipbuilding and uh, glass. I think Pyrex, but in fact, I'm pretty sure Pyrex started off there. Correct me if I'm wrong though, please. <laughs> There's no point in uh, giving out dodgy facts. Uh, but yeah, as a consequence, they used to dump a lot of uh, rubbish, waste products, waste glass into the sea. And then now, years and years later, it's getting kind of washed in. But it's all smooth and beautiful colours. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's a pretty active hobby for some people, collecting sea glass. That's really busy, it's nice to see it being used. Oh, 
<laughs> Thank you, Chief. Oh, I'm already put off the last one. Okay. Yes, nice families. Coming out for a stroll. See a burnt out car in the distance. It's kind of standard. I think that might have been where they film get caught. I don't know. For the most part, it's a nice trailer quite hard underfoot so you could come here any time of year same buggies <coughs> seen a few car parks too so there's pretty good access Won't be that long now, maybe a mile until we get to Horden. <laughs> I've running with the gimbal today. Thought I'd see how I'd normally run with it like the chest mount if it's good light. <laughs> Thought I'd try the gimbal. It's a fire tech. Uh, iSteady Pro 2 but I've had to modify it to uh, take the GoPro Hero 8 and then about a week after I did the modification they bought a new one out that uh, takes the GoPro Hero 8 
Oh well. Yeah, please don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to move away from playing music on the treadmill running scenery. I figured if I chat about the area I'm running in, that might be a bit more interesting. And if you don't fancy that, turn me off and put your own music on. <clears throat> I should have come with Rex today, he would love this. It was part of a longer run. All in all, I'll be doing about 15, about 15 mile. I just figured, little much for Rex. I'll take him for a walk when I get in. I love the colours this time of year. Very autumnal. So I took for Joe, he for girl, four for a boy. Wonder what's on cargo or what they're picking up the container ships. Probably nothing exciting. Must admit these shoes. It's got Kinabala, Kinabalu, Ultra RC. <clears throat> I've been great on these trails. I've done quite a few miles in them now.
see all the red and the orangey rocks and contaminated so we're pretty much at hoarding now a hoarding it's a kind of it's got a big viaduct again it's a big dark viaduct of Crimden at the entrance to Horden Dee and Crimden Dee big brick, brick viaducts quite impressive Now if you like butterflies this is a good place to come to I think it's called the Northern Brown Argus Butterfly hangs out here I think it's a subspecies of the Durham Argus butterfly but I've heard conflicting reports to say that it's a kind of species all of its own so again please let me know I'm definitely no expert just keen in a bit of local knowledge so I'd love to know yeah but I think, um, from what I understand, it's a kind of mixture of a few factors that make this area popular with that butterfly. So I think I've said it before in a previous video about the magnesium limestone and you've got these like cliff top meadows with wildflower and in particular it's a yellow rock rose which make this area kind of vital I suppose for the butterfly survival it's really sad but I know Horden Beach they've had in the past problems with vandalism and setting fire I think it was to the habitat which is just just insane we've all done silly things when we're younger but my goodness me to have something so rare and precious on your doorstep and just have no thought or concern for its welfare it's tragic that way That's a bit overgrown. I think it's this So you can see Horden coming up in the distance. I've enjoyed the run, hope you have too. Like I say, if you did enjoy it, please give it a like if you've got anything to say 
positive, correct me on some of my Wikipedia facts. And please comment below if you think somebody else might enjoy the movie please share it and if you'd like to see more movies they're all treadmill running scenery if you'd like to see other stuff I produce then please subscribe I really appreciate it Park run route over there. Horden Park run. And this, I think it's called Castle Eden Burn, where the water comes out into the North Sea. It's really busy. It's quite an unusual little shelf on the beach here. And there's the viaduct. Oh, another burnt out car. That's two to date. Castleton Dean Mouth. And I think that uh, kind of side of the cliff is a bit of a stretch. But I think the, the butterflies are particularly fond of that area. I think I saw it on Country File one of these kind of nature programs and that's it Heart Station in Hartlepool to Horden that's it I hope you enjoyed it my arms are aching now from holding the gimbal <clears throat> probably give myself an injury uh, <laughs> it probably will actually it's probably why my uh, left hamstrings always aching Rex yanking me in one direction and holding the gimbal uh, but yeah I'll um, try and put links to things I think are necessary you know um, postcode for car parks etc a link to Durham Heritage Trail uh, other bits and bobs that I like that so if you want to come and do the route yourself it's relatively easy to find um, I'm trying to think anything else no that's about it but like I said earlier and I keep saying <laughs> if you like it if you like the video then please give it a thumbs up uh, if you think somebody else might like it then please share it um, 
and if you want to see more videos from outdoor pov then please subscribe thanks again to northern runner for all their support please get in touch with those guys up there my wife keeps telling me off seeing guys i shouldn't see guys but please get in touch with them uh, they've got years of experience and they will be more than happy to help you out with your running kit needs and that's it thanks again for watching take care and i'll see you all soon cheers thanks